Henry Mosley showed that the atomic number of an element is a more fundamental property than its atomic mass. First, tell me what is an atomic number? Well, let me explain it to you. In oxygen, there are 8 electrons. The atomic number of oxygen is 8. Thus, we can say that atomic number of an element is numerically equal to the number of electrons present in the atom. As the electrons in oxygen are 8, the same amount of protons are also present in oxygen that is 8 protons. Thus the number of electrons is equal to the number of protons in the nucleus. What Mosley did, he arranged the elements in the increasing order of atomic number and this became known as the long form of the periodic table, also known as the modern periodic table. Modern periodic law states that chemical properties of the elements are periodic functions of their atomic numbers. There are a total of 113 elements in the periodic table. This table is divided into vertical columns called as groups and horizontal rows called as periods. There are 18 vertical columns or groups. Out of 18 columns, 15 columns correspond to 15 groups. The rest of the three columns are present in the middle of one group. Look at the modern periodic table carefully. Are you able to find the position of lanthanides and actinides? Let me see. Yes, I got it. Lanthanides and actinides are not accommodated in the main body of the periodic table, but are placed separately at the bottom of the table. Can you see them? The sixth period consists of elements that have atomic numbers 58 to 71. They are called lanthanides. The seventh period consists of elements that have atomic numbers 90 to 103. They are called actinides. Now let us move from groups to periods. There are seven periods present in the modern periodic table. Hydrogen and helium are the elements present in first period. The second period consists of eight elements that is from lithium to neon. The third period consists of eight elements that is from sodium to argon. The fourth period and the fifth period consist of 32 elements. And the sixth period consists of 18 elements. The seventh period is an incomplete period. Let me tell you one more thing. On the basis of electronic configuration, the elements are classified as inert gases, representative elements, transition elements and inner transition elements. Have you noticed in the extreme right of the periodic table, that is in the zero group, gases like helium, neon, argon, krypton, xenon and radon are present. These gases are not reactive, hence they are called inert gases. The outermost electronic configuration of inert gases is NS2 or NP6. The electronic configuration of helium is 1s2. Let us look at the first type of element called as representative elements. The elements having incomplete outermost shell come under representative elements. The electronic configuration of representative elements is from ns1 to ns2 to np5. We can also divide the representative elements into S block elements, P block elements, D block elements and F block elements. The elements having electronic configuration as NS1 and NS2 in outermost shell come under S block elements. Look at group 1A and 2A. They belong to S block element. 
the elements having electronic configuration as ns1 np2 to ns2 np5 in outermost shell come under p block elements look at groups 3a 4a 5a 6a and 7a they belong to p block element the d block and f block elements are known as transition and inner transition elements respectively